Alright, so I just have to say this. Now, if somebody is walking through a hallway and slip and they're falling, what do you do? If you're slipping and falling, what do you do? You put your hands up. If somebody's pushing you towards something, you put your hands up. Whatever you do, if I'm grabbing you and I'm going to sling you and throw you into something, what are you going to do? You're going to put your hands up. Right? Now, first of all, that guy getting snatched off the train. Please get off the train. Snatched by the neck. Dragged off the train. Come on. Man. You can be drunk 10 days a week, 9,000 minutes a day, and it don't matter. Right? Doesn't matter how drunk he was or what state of mind he was in. Right? He was snatched by his neck and thrown through a piece of plate glass. He could have fell 70 feet to his death. And then all you'd say is that damn cop was dirty. He threw him to his death. Can't say that now. Because the cop was absolutely right in this video. The guy was belligerent on the train. Acting a fool to the 10th level. And the cop snatched him off the train. And if the wall would have been solid... If the safety glass would have been in place, the glass would never have broke. But there was a pillar to the right, like I said. And when I said the African American man asked him to get off the train nicely, someone says, That guy was white, blah, 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 and was yelling and screaming and whatever, whatever he typed in the page. Doesn't matter. If someone can walk up to a man who is perceived to be dangerous and ask him, get off the train, man. You need to get off the train. As soon as the train stop, don't you think the person paid, paid to do it, should, who should have been exactly the same, exactly the same amount of courtesy, exactly the same amount of care and respect obviously saying that there's something wrong with this person mentally other than just walking around with an open container of alcohol in public which is drunken you know what these people can jump off and be all technical and all this is he's drinking in public you can do all that crap so what when you're sitting in your backyard and you're drinking a beer and you walk to the front yard and your brother-in-law is leaving the house and you're in the driveway and you're waving at him goodbye you are drunk in public and or drinking in public so this guy was on the public train with an alcoholic beverage and a glass clearly belligerent and think about it Earlier in that day, earlier in the same day, the man was on a bus. Was it a bus? Or a Sam Trans? It was a bus, I think. And he allegedly kicked an 80-year-old. So if he was arrested earlier in the day and released, whose fault is it for him to go off on this bus, this train? If he's known as someone known as being bipolar, if he's been diagnosed as being bipolar and with violent tendency, shouldn't that have been known publicly? And a lot of you people out there are going to say, what you're about to say next has nothing to do with this video and you only got three minutes to say what you got to say. Doesn't that open ground? 
for us to have monitors on all of us for whatever any of our afflictions are. If you're bipolar, you need a green wristband. If you're diabetic, you need a red wristband. If you got AIDS, you need a black wristband. If you have cancer, you need an orange wristband. Should we all be di diagnosed or labeled up front so somebody knows how to handle us in any given situation? Do we need a one world government so everybody can be treated the same so if every bipolar person on the world who may be dangerous who are orange wristband we all would know that you know in a bad day if, if this guy's got an orange wristband on not to fuck with him and especially if he's got an orange wristband on drinking a beer on a train screaming at people I don't know but the older I get, the more I think, and I think we need a one world government to help people like this. If this one man is bipolar and can get on the train, what if he decided, you know what? This cop grabbed me by my neck and I got a gun and I want to shoot everybody I can see. What if he decided that? We don't live in a world of what if. We don't live in the land of I don't know. We know. If you can find me for a $32 bill that I owed 10 years ago, and you cannot find Osama bin Laden in some place in some cave on a hillside, we shouldn't have to worry about sick people walking amongst us. We shouldn't have to worry about needing help. People need health care. People need life care. And we sitting here going willy-nilly, thinking about what's the next DVD or CD we should buy, and we don't know who's walking amongst us. What the fuck have we become as a people? Excuse my language. But think about this. This is a worldwide thing where people are bipolar, misconstrued, shot down in public, or flip out and kill other people or cause accidents. Come on, man. Let's not worry about what color people are or what this and that is. Let's worry about this man being arrested earlier in the day and then being released to act a fool on a plane or a train or a bus in a car at a shooting range in the mall whatever please let's stop making this about this and that and this is a human health issue there's people out here who need help and they walk amongst us. And in America, since the early 80s, since Ronald Reagan, things have changed. We cannot let people who need help walk amongst us without getting the help that they need. So, hey, I got one minute left. You can hate me for anything I say. You can hate me for who I am. You can hate me for my beliefs. But you can't hate me for telling the truth. So thank you for your time. And if I'm crazy, I'll be crazy this way. A bottle of peanuts. Ball of hot sauce. Does that make me insane? You shoot me and throw me through great glass? <laughs>